right. What if you guys are just asking Assassin here back with another video? I hope you guys are all doing well and are having a wonderful week so far. It is currently May 30th, 2024. And in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to an Amberlynn Reed video titled Week One Way In on Ozempic, Going to the Movies and Glow in the Dark Bingo. So, just an observation before getting into this video. I noticed that she her face looks a little bit smaller. But she looks sick. There's a bit of a sallowness to her skin. A grayish undertone to it. I don't know if that's because of the other health issues that are going on. Possibly the cancer. Or if Ozempic can do this to a person but she doesn't look healthy in my humble opinion and that's troubling she's already got a lot going on and uh if this is you know what if, you know if this is what she looks like in the beginning of taking ozempic again or whatever whatever that this substitute ozempic is I shudder to think how she's going to look moving forward because, you know, I've seen celebrities who have been, who are on these drugs. Okay. You know, pictures taken of them, like, you know, tabloids and stuff like that. And people who, have, who, who I think, it was, I think one person in particular that I remember seeing and somebody did like a, a video about Ozempic and talking about celebrities using Ozempic. I think it was Scott Disick. I, th I think it was like, uh, uh, what is it? Courtney, I think it was Courtney Kardashian's uh, ex husbands and like he looked absolutely horrible. Like he, he looked a lot thinner, but the same kind of like like thin and sallowness to the skin. He, I mean, he just looked completely unhe unhealthy. So, um, that's it's a little it's a little troubling. I'm 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 not saying that she does that she should be on this drug, okay? Because maybe this will help her lose the weight that she desperately needs to lose. But like, there's a lot of risk that comes with taking these drugs, and if you're, uh, you know, in danger of having cancer again, is it really safe to be on this drug? I don't know. Those are just questions that I'm just, and observations that I'm putting out there before getting into this reaction. So anyways, without further ado, folks, let's get to. Hello, hello. Welcome to a new vlog. So I woke up, I showered, took Twinkie out, got ready for the day, and I totally forgot. Like, how did I forget this? I guess it's because I had to get a few of these cameos completed. Like, someone requested a 24-hour one yesterday, and I literally just saw it today. I was like, oh my god, first of all, thank you for requesting the 24-hour one. Like, you're like an angel. So sweet. So, like, I wanted to get those done. Anyways, in the midst of all that, like, I realized, oh my god, today's Saturday. So, today is my second Ozempic shot. And also, it is my official, like, how much weight did I lose the first week? So, I'm about to go get completely naked, step on that damn scale, and be so proud of myself and tell you guys a little bit about like how the week went. So let's go do that. And I'm realizing that these pillows, I actually don't use these pillows right here. They do not have pillowcases on them because I'm actually getting rid of these pillows. But this is the end of my bed, the part of the bed that I do not use. Anyways, let's go weigh myself. Okay, guys, so I did weigh myself. But first, I'm going to put in my weigh-in from last week. So I'm going to put that here. Today is the day that I am going back on Ozempic. So it only makes sense that we get a weigh-in and we see my starting weight. 500.4 pounds. 500.4. Okay, so now let's put in the weigh-in from today. All right, you guys. I'm so excited. Hello. It's ready. Okay, stepping on. Moment of truth. Fingers are crossed. 488 488.2. All right, so I'm gonna figure out how much I've lost in this week and then I'll let you guys know. So in one week, I'm down over 12 pounds and I am so freaking proud of that. So the first few days. What's there to be proud of, Amber? You're just taking a shot to help you lose weight. This, this medication is meant to basically stop you from eating. But the fact is you've talked about nausea, having a lot of heartburn, and there are people in my comment section 
under my the last video that I did of you talking about the fact that when you have symptoms like that, it means you're still overeating. And I've also found out that a person can still gain weight while being on those drugs, especially if you're consistently overeating. So, yeah, this is, you know, this drug can help you lose weight in a short amount of time. But there's a lot of risk that goes with it. And uh, I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer when I say this and invalidate her weight loss, but she isn't putting in the hard work, in my humble opinion. And this is, I'm not speaking out of any bitterness or jealousy or, or what have you. I'm just saying that this girl has got all this separate health issues going on that she's neglected for months, okay? And now is scrambling to lose weight. Now she's going to this med spa, paying God knows how much money for this medication, all because she's having these health issues. And now she just recently found out she's too fat to fit in a CT scan, and she has to go to somewhere else where she can get find a, a bigger B CT scan. Lord knows, like, Lord help her if she needs an MRI. And I said this in my previous Amber Lynn video. When you get to a point where you're too big for a CT scan or an MRI, and let's say you have a kidney stone that could be blocked, you know, blocked in the urinary tract, which I think she'd be able to tell if it was, you know, and I didn't think about that in the last video. Given my own experiences, like if it was blocked, yeah, it, it, it would have gotten, it, she would have had to go to the hospital. Like it, the pain would have been immense. Um, like it would have gotten pretty bad at this point. But then again, I also just found out and didn't realize until somebody pointed it out to me in the comment section that she's back to filming, like to her schedule is like, we're really behind on videos. So she could at the moment, like be in the hospital or something like that. You know what I mean? And then just scheduling her videos out. Like we don't know what's actually happening in real time. So, I mean, there's that, but I, I think that if it was, if she had something serious going on that was like immediate, like medical issue, she would probably post it like in real time. But I, you know, I'm just guessing at this point, but, um, I'm just, I'm not impressed. I'm really not impressed because you're using a drug to, as a shortcut, just like you try to use weight loss surgery as a shortcut because you're unwilling to put in the hard work. And what I mean by hard work is eating right, healthy, okay, and exercising. You have the money, the means to hire, I mean, you could at least hire a personal trainer. If you just cut down on buying on the, the journals and, and some of the other stuff, you could hire a trainer. It's so, it'd be so worth it, Amber, to have somebody come to your house and work with you. They could literally come to your to your your house and and work with you like you have plenty of space from what i can see and if they if they don't want to do it at the house they could you could get a membership to planet fitness and work out there just you couldn't you wouldn't be able to use like a lot of the machines but like there's things that you could use at planet fitness or any other gym Hell, you could even find a gym with a pool and do water aerobics, aerobics, like, like Sean, you know, <laughs> but then again, you have a pool at, at your uh, apartment, at your apartment complex that's obviously open now. So I don't understand why you don't go down there and take advantage of it. It just doesn't make sense to me. 
because you know you do realize once you get off that drug you're not going to have that drug you know in your system telling your body to eat less so all the that 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 cravings and you know that that urge to eat more is going to come back with a vengeance and you're going to be right back where you started and then you're going to start gaining weight again but then you have the you have all these other serious health issues like the hernia the gallbladder issues the possible cancer re-emerging um you know there's oh okay what else is there just hernia gallbladder Cancer, the kidney issues, kidney stone issues. I mean, urinary issues. I mean, there's a lot of issues at play here. I mean, I don't know if Amberlynn has any, you know, gastro issues, but it's like based on what she said the last time, and this is what I don't understand why she's even attempting to go back on Ozempic or something like Ozempic. Um, she was told by the doctor that. Because of her gallbladder issues, she couldn't be on Ozempic because it was affecting her gallbladder in a in a really bad way. Like the thing is, is that if you don't get that taken care of, girl, baby girl, your gallbladder could explode. And that's I, I'm not I'm not bullshitting. When my mom, okay, this is like back in the day when my dad had his accident, and my mom was like in the waiting room or something and she, a, a surgery whatever and um somebody was there with you know the family member was there um and they were like they got talking and their family member gallbladder exploded because they you know had a gallstone okay and they didn't get taken care of in time so it exploded and then they went toxic so you're in danger of that happening, and you're it's like playing with fire. Like, you're walking around without a fucking care in the world, acting as, like, you don't have that issue. It just blows my mind. It really does. And and the thing is, you're in a new state now, so you have, you don't even have a primary care to go to. So that way, if you need a referral... You'd have to wait to see a primary care to get a referral to see a specialist. Your best bet, and I and I know this is like, I like I'm like people, some people are like, oh my god, Lisa, why, you know, why you keep on mentioning this hospital? It's because it's the only one that I know of that does this. Your best bet would go to Cleveland Clinic, okay? Which is, you know, I know Ohio is like, what? Oh my god, that'd be like a long way to travel. People have traveled from out of the country to go to this hospital, okay? Cleveland Clinic, and that would be like your best bet of getting a a specialist, in my humble opinion. Now, I mean, there could be other, another hospital like that that has the same kind of works the same way, but to my knowledge, Cleveland Clinic is the only hospital that I found around me that literally has appointments that are next day that you don't need a referral with them. I'm not even joking. Um, they just have they, a different like pol of policies and stuff like that. I just they they work differently. Whenever I've called, like I I've never needed to like like have a referral from the doctor, even with insurance. Like it, that would be her best bet. I know it's a, a you know she'd probably have to you know travel by plane or what. I, I, hell, I don't even think she could do that unless she does business class. Um, she'd, you know, tra travel by plane, um, business class, whatever, and, um, you know, you know, uh, schedule all her specialists within the same week and do it that way. I mean, I know that sounds like radical, like, you know, crazy and everything like that. Like, oh my God, you know, there are obviously hospitals around her. Just, it's just in my mind based you know it it's one of the se second best hospitals in the world they work a lot differently than most hospitals um i feel like that would be the only way she'd be to get to to be go to a hospital like cleveland clinic that has like the same works the same way to get what she needs to get done that's what i've had to do
because I'm just like just hospitals around where I'm at, they suck. Like these days, you're lucky to get into a. I'm lucky to get into my primary care within like a two week period. You know, it's a ridiculous. I mean, I understand that there's a breakdown, but it's like I'm an I'm an established patient of many years. Like uh, the, the 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 I shouldn't have to wait that that long. Given I mean, and I was you know given like my health issues and you know I'm trying to reduce how much I go to the ER like. It's still like it is what it is. I mean, I I just I don't know what the problem is and what the, what's causing the breakdown, but like it's a it's a real it's a real thing going on. Days on the Ozempic shot, I felt extreme nausea when waking up, but then it would go away throughout the day. And those first couple of days, I also noticed that like every time I would eat, I would get just like the tiniest bit nauseous like once i hit like the full mark but days five six and seven like i didn't get that at all so it was a lot of like willpower had to be had trust me especially yesterday day seven i literally wanted to eat everything i wanted to literally eat everything i wanted to order all the takeout i wanted to mm -hmm. snack away just you guys know like i just wanted to eat everything so i had to have tons of willpower and i think between the ozempic and then me stopping delta eight i think that it made me have a very successful week so i'm very proud of that but the, here's the thing the fact remains that you're still getting the urges because the thing is the whole point of and i think i think maybe if she if she takes more of an increased dose it's going to get easier it's going to get better but the, the fact remains you're still getting these urges your body is still telling you i want i want this i want that i want that which means it's i don't know maybe because you're on the high of being on this new drug and and okay you're able to stop yourself whatever because you you just in your mind you really want to be successful at this but like how long until the urges really take over amber and i'm glad you're not on the delta eight anymore you shouldn't be on the delta eight but what are you going to take in place of that to help with your mental health i mean not in any therapy you're using the delta eight to supplement your mental health medication so how are you going to moderate your Help you with your bipolar. See, you see what's going on here, Amber? You've got a lot going on here that's not being treated. You're taking a lot of risks for no good reason. I think other than to prove to the uh, to uh, to to the audience at large that I can, I, I'm a fat girl who can do this on my own. Uh, my own i you know blah 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 blah. like girl you're, you're not doing yourself any favors you're you're a moron on top of no longer vaping i'm also not really drinking like diet sodas anymore like i, I definitely am making a lot of changes like I'm, i have a lot of water going through me and it feels really good because for a minute there i wasn't drinking any water at all when it comes to what type of changes i'm making in my eating i definitely eat more at home i don't order takeout as much but i definitely still do overall i just eat a lot less i'm just feeling very positive and i'm very happy oh my god over 12 pounds i know it's a lot of water weight i know next week will not be like that but it just feels really good and it's motivating and it makes me want to keep going so yay okay so i mean i'm not gonna lie she doesn't look as swollen okay that uh, i mean but she still looks relatively the same and the fact remains is that not all these drugs work for people I, I i and the thing is i don't know i mean the fact that she's still having the urges and she's still pushing herself to eat that's not a good sign I simply had an outfit change. It is still the same day, and I will still be vlogging today. I just, I don't know, for continuity reasons, I feel like I have to tell you that. I'm feeling so sad. I cannot find my sunglasses anywhere. I'm like, where the hell did I put them? I feel naked without them. Oh my God. So I'm currently with my mom. <laughs> oh, just don't, just don't with this. I feel naked without my sunglasses. You've been we not wearing sunglasses for a long time. Just stop with this bullshit. We are going to Panera Bread and I found my of glasses, course. so we're good, but I'm not wearing them right now because the glare when I vlog is just like, what's the point? Yes, the bingo bag is back there. It stays back there 24-7, <laughs> but I think we're going tonight anyways, so 
That's gonna be a fun moment. And I think, movie. Yeah, we're going to the movies. There's this movie out called If with Ryan Reynolds. If you guys know, Blake Lively is my um, wife, one of my wives. I have several, and that's her husband. But I just wanted something unserious. My mom's like, you want to go to the movies? And I was like, oh my god, there's actually a movie. Blake Lively were to see this video, she'd be like, oh god. She she probably <laughs> she you know you know what she's uh. She she used to drink a lot, whatever. She used to be an alcoholic. This would probably maybe urge her to drink. <laughs> okay. Like, this don't. Movie out that I want to see. And I was like, that's perfect. So my mom thinks it looks cutesy, like the concept of it. So, yeah. yeah so we have a full uh, day of mother daughter shenanigans. Right, mom? You know, honestly, all I want is the next half of Bridgerton right now and uh, the new. Boy, season of boys like i really want to see what happens because uh, i just got done watching gen v and i was like that this the whole the boys gen v it's crazy like some of the scenes in that that show is crazy oh my god yep shenanigans <laughs> yeah oh and i did my injection my mom helped me with that she did yep. it for me and piece cake yeah, it's easy for her. I didn't. I don't feel it. It's so weird because like when I did it before and I used a pen, like I would feel it. But with this, it like feels like nothing. Like I don't get it. You're tell them how much weight you've lost. Yeah, I told them already. Oh. <laughs> yeah. My mom's proud that I've lost over 12 pounds already. That's so exciting. I know. Did you tell them how much I lost? Oh, 19, right? 19. My mom's yep. down 19. And I have heard some people asking if she's also on Ozempic. No. No. She's doing it all on her Count own. Count calories. Yeah, she's <laughs> counting them cows. Um, she's the queen of moderation. She allows herself to eat whatever. She <laughs> whatever she wants but she likes to sit in her towels so pretty much what i'm see because her mom actually has self-restraint when it comes to her eating imagine you're sitting next to your mom who's actually doing the damn thing the you know i'm not, I'm not gonna say that you know oh the right way you know because you know it's, there's no problem with being on ozempic or with having weight loss surgery but you know she's actually doing what you could never I'm surprised there isn't a hint of jealousy there. Then again, I think I did see a little bit of hint of jealousy when she talked about the queen of moderation. So are you jealous of your mom, Amber, that she's doing what you could never do? I mean, hell, you're still you're still pushing yourself to eat. Hmm. I don't know. I don't I I don't know. The more and more I I, I hear, the more I'm 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 kind of iffy about whether this is this weight loss is actually real. I'm trying to do, but I'm not counting calories. I stay away from low sweets. Like I don't do sweets as calories. Or anything yeah, like so she'll stay away from sweets, but which is my downfall. <laughs> uh, same. I love me a sweet moment. Mm. Type deal type of situation. Yeah. Anyways, but yeah. Uh, see you at Panera Bread. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. What is this? But I got I, I gotta see this meal here. So it looks like some sort of like BLT maybe, and a salad. What kind of salad? Yeah, not bad. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad. I mean, it's healthier than what I've seen her eat. I'm surprised it's not. You know, uh, like a chicken sandwich or something with some mac and cheese and some shit, like like she had at Chick Fil A. So that looks good. How you could do that? You guys, are there the swimming? <laughs> Wait, are these swimming shoes? I bought them in the swim section. Like Mom, if you bought them in the swim section, I think they're for swimming, right? They're the most comfortable shoes ever worn by the Like they weigh like nothing. They look comfy. They are swim shoes. You could never fit in those, Amber. Those are nice swim shoes, though. I need to get I need to get me some um, new swim shoes. Hey, you know what? Whatever works, right? You can't tell, but they're purple on camera. They look gray. Yeah, they match your hair. You know how supposed to I think those are swim shoes. <laughs> This is the movie we're gonna be watching. Water. Yeah, it's gonna be cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, what do you do? Oh, you Push press this. I've never done this before. Okay. 
And then she said, don't put too much butter because it'll... Uh... So is this the butter? Yeah. Ooh, girl. I don't know how fast <laughs> <laughs> Please show them. I also got an icy. Icy. I got a Diet Coke. Any characters. So sh just sugar and carbs and butter. Real smart, Amber. That I can relate to within the film. My mom had to take a quick bathroom break, but we finished the movie. I cried a couple times. It was honestly so adorable, I'm not gonna lie. But I did not finish my popcorn. This was a small. I think I'm gonna give this to my mom's boyfriend. And that small AC definitely hit the spot as well. But we're about to go to bingo and usually I drink like a big, large Diet Coke while I'm there. But instead we're gonna stop and get me some water first because I want to stick to no soda. You love your skin on your first set session. You would have been better off having a, a soda than that icy. That icy is full of sugar. Like a day, more than a day's worth of, of what you, uh, the allocated sugar you should be having. But you don't want to have a Diet Coke. You, you know, you could have zero sugar sodas, right? You do realize that, right? Once a day, maybe, maybe a couple times a week. I mean, I get, I mean, no, look, if you want to, you know, sand soda all together, Go for it. I'm I'm just saying the icy over a Diet Coke, I would pick the Diet Coke. Because the icy, I mean, unless it's like, like a sugar-free icy, which I've never heard of, then, you know, um, that's got way more sugar in it. That's a syrup and ice. And, you know, soda is like just syrup, syrup and chemicals and all that stuff. Okay, you guys, if I look tired, it's literally because I am. It's past my bedtime. I had an amazing day today, but it is time to do questions of the day. How do you live in a state known for having a lot of tornadoes, yet act surprised when you get tornadoes and tornado warnings? Your girl isn't surprised. Your girl's scared. If you're afraid of needles, why would you choose a medication that is a shot? So stupid. To save my life. Can you give us one fact about Valentine? Um, she's older than me. If you quit YouTube, how will you afford to buy your mommy's love? I actually, it's crazy because I've gotten this question a multitude of times in several different types of fashions and ways, just worded differently. I don't pay for my mom to do anything. She has her own job, her own money, her own everything. Bullshit. Because isn't it funny that your mom got a new car right when you moved to, moved to Oklahoma? You bought her that car. Let's be real. Just stop. She doesn't need me, honey. How did you have CT scans then and you're smaller now, but you can't fit? Because every CT scan has a different weight limit. All right, last question. How do you stay so incredibly strong and positive while people are so cruel and insensitive? I gotta look that up. I'm gonna look at the whole CT scan. I'm not gonna comment on it now, but I'm gonna do some research on that. You're always so kind to everyone. Love you bunches. I really don't know. I think it just comes with time. I just feel like I've been doing this for so long that like I have built some some tough skin. And I'm just very patient with all the negativity. Of tough skin, my ass. You're still pretty thin skin. A little bit tougher, yeah, but you're still pretty thin skin, Amber. You're just more reserved on here. course i have you know you know what no you know what i tell I, i'm lying here because you know what you literally recently just came on here whining bitching and moaning how basically we were just being so mean about the fact that you couldn't fit on a ct scan because you've lied about it in the past and we're supposed to be like sympathetic giving you ass pats girl and you don't acting like oh my oh uh, like i don't understand uh -huh. like girl you play you know you, you you when you played stun possum and it's like come on now you, you're not good at playing stun possum my slip ups where i might seem a little insensitive that's definitely not who i am as a person ever i just get really overwhelmed and sometimes oh, bullshit. bullshit bullshit you are cruel you're a, you're not a good person amber you're just playing a part on here multiple ex-partners of yours have said this about you
lying is is second nature to you okay like just don't don't play this game don't don't do this okay I, I i don't you know i just don't understand it because like it's so easy to catch you out on your lies these days. same with Chantel. what is even the point what's the point i'm kind of bad at managing my emotions but i love you too and thank you for the comment anyways i hope that you guys did enjoy this vlog and i'll see you in the next one bye Oh, okay, that, that was just a bunch of bullshit, as per usual. Um, I'm still skeptical about the weight loss. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, it, Amber, it, it depends on how willing, how hard you're willing to work to um, lose this weight. The shot isn't going to do it for you. But we shall see, guys. We'll see, we shall see how hard she is willing to actually work. And I'm I'm saying that loosely because it, when I say hard work, I mean putting even just like the, the minimal, the bare minimum. Like right now, she's on a high. She's on this new drug. She's you know she's made lose some weight fast. Okay, that happens in the beginning, but it's just like. What happens next, though? You know what I mean? Like, what happens next is the question. But anyways, um, that is it for, for today's video. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Toodaloo, my loves. Ooh.